Good night, everybody. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Claudia, Isaura, and Mr. Alexander. How are you guys? How's your day going? So far, it's good? In my case, I am very tired because I work all day and wow, yeah, but I'm pretty well. <laughs> I'm so happy and to you hear that. I know sometimes it's even because we are in the middle of the week, right? Wednesday. Be patient, Isara. Be patient. We almost ended up this first week of the model, and we're going to receive the weekend with a lot of happiness. <laughs> yes. yes we're counting the day right tomorrow and thursday and finally on friday oh yeah <laughs> definitely understood especially because this week it's really important for our u.s citizens right do you remember why no don't tell me that you don't know <gasps> what the u.s citizens celebrate this week Thanksgiving Day. What, Louis? Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day. And what else? Tomorrow. Mm, Black Friday. And Black Friday as well. Definitely. Yeah. Guys, I know that right here in El Salvador is not like boom, right? For us, but for the United States people, yes, it is. It's a huge event and a huge holiday. Why I'm asking you that? Because um, when we are... Guys, learning a foreign language, in this case, English, like you're learning it right now, it is important not only to learn grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, reading, and all the stuff. It's really, really important and imperative to learn also cultural things. Cultural things from the, basically, the countries that also they speak the language that you're learning, for example, in the United States. Does anybody know what's the history about Thanksgiving? Any idea? What is really important? No? Only one. I know. I know everybody wants to participate. You are so commitment. I love you guys, but only I need only one people. Only one. It's enough. Don't worry. Or no idea. It's valid to say that I don't have any clue, teacher. Aha, Saul. Para celebrar el Día de Acción de Gracias. Aha, yes, but in English, my dear friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sometimes it's valid to speak Spanish. I do understand that perfectly. But try to speak English a little bit more if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, celebrate. Thanksgiving. You're right about that. Guys. You know something about Thanksgiving? Alex, do you know something about Thanksgiving? Why does um people in the United States celebrate that holiday? Any idea? It's similar to to the old celebration about the, the cross mm -hmm. about, uh, about the the giving for the, the how, how do you say cosecha? <laughs> Hi. Uh, harvest. Uh, yes, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, the, the way them to celebrate the what's it? <laughs> the harvest. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new spelling, please, spelling, please. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write down harvest. Harvest, cosecha. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you, Ada. What about you? Would like to add something extra, Saul? Anything else? Because you have, you still have your hand here, like. Um, not yet. No? I just try okay. to remember. Don't worry, remember. guys. First, homework for you. First, homework. Try to search for a little bit information about Thanksgiving. One paragraph, if you don't mind. Search for information. I will need only one paragraph. And I want you to send me through the WhatsApp group an audio recording. Like a WhatsApp audio message like that. Try to like practice reading it. Okay, read it. Read it. Try to get used to the words and everything. 
and you're gonna be a uh, reporters for one day a <laughs> uh, reporters what i need the the um, voice recorder message that i would need from you guys i don't like to listen to you like if you're reading something what i would like to listen is that you already know what you're talking about and i would like you to um to feel comfortable with the information that you're going to provide it to us. What I'm going to evaluate, I'm going to evaluate confiability. I'm going to evaluate pronunciation. I'm going to evaluate um, information. Also, I'm going to evaluate self-confident and fluency and intonation. That's what I'm going to evaluate. This is our first homework. It's really right, right? It's really nice, don't you think? Yeah, we're going to have someone, yes. I told you guys, you're going to speak with me. And we're going to improve our speaking and our intonation and our fluency. And that's what we're going to do. Isn't it amazing? I'm so excited. Can you imagine you're going to listen your own voice, how you speak English? That would be nice. I love it. I can't wait until listen your recorders. I cannot wait. Don't worry, guys. Try to do your best. Practice. And when you feel like, oh, my God, <clears throat> I do have a radio voice, like Alex, for example, <laughs> you said, now it's time to record my message. And then you send it via WhatsApp. Are you agree? Awesome, right? Okay, cool. All righty. Guys, thank you. Oh, my God, I have Isa here. Luis, Claudia, Ruti, Revolito, Maria, Landy, Ida. Janelle, or she's still working, but it's really nice that she's here with us. Woohoo! Hi, good evening, uh, Rudy. Uh, I do have it here, Nuvi, Christian. All righty. Hey, guys, for the ones that are possible for you to turn it on your camera, I will really appreciate it. I already told you, you are beautiful. You are handsome. You are gorgeous. Don't worry if you don't have makeup. You're honk. That's great. Don't worry. You always look perfect. Everybody is beautiful. So don't worry. If you have a completely hair disaster, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I just want, if thank you for the ones that already turned on the cameras. But Landy, if it's possible that you can do it, it will be amazing. Claudia, Aurel Little, Sammy as well, Samuel, Luis, and Ruti, if it's possible. I know your nose, your nose working, but she's already with us. So we really appreciate that. And David as well, please, if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, how was your day? You see, Ruthie, you're so lovely, my blondie girl. Yay, all right. Okay, um, uh, who can share us what was um, her or his day for today? What have you done? Isa, thank you. <laughs> I really, yes, she's like, eh. I knew it, I knew she was going to ask me. Okay, tell us something about your day. How was your day today? Uh, my, what did day, you do? my day was very boring and tired. Uh, because I worked uh, a hunger of chemistry. Ah, okay, and, chemistry hunger? Ooh, ooh. Yes. And I, I, I went... A tecla. Uh -huh. a Santa you made tecla. an explosion. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> huh, really? Yeah. And... Wow. Oh, my goodness. Uh, are you hurt? Uh, no. No, no. Okay. Oof, thank God. <laughs> and in the afternoon, I had a class, psychology. Psychology class? At the U? Yes. At the U.S. or virtual one? Yes. Okay. And then? Then I I stay in my house. You stay home, huh? Did yes, you have dinner already? Yeah. Oh, did you prepare it? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, tell her, what was your dinner? And tomato with onion. 
And so, you with onions, okay? And tortillas, and tortillas. And tortillas. Yeah. Oh my God, awesome. In a cup of coffee, tea, soda, I don't know. Uh, tea. Tea. Oh I, I, I don't like coffee. Oh, she's a tea girl, you see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like and that, the, like, the milk. Tessa, like that. Ooh. Oh my God, you are uh, my girl. I'm a tea girl as well. So you are from British, right? You're from Britain. Uh, you are English girl. That's amazing. What type of tea do you prefer? Um, Romero. Really? Oh, and natural tea. Oh yeah, you know what? Talking about that, that helps a lot in your body. Yeah. It's really healthy. How do you say Romero in English? I don't know. Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemary. Ha! Huh. Is everybody agree with Ada? Hey, Francisco. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Uh huh? Is everybody agree? I'm just asking. I think that the, this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is Rosemary. It is. Yes, definitely, it is. So, Mr. Isa, Miss Isa, sorry, Rosemary, it is what we call Romero in Spanish, okay? Rosemary. Rosemary. Mm -hmm. Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosemary tea. Okay, Rosemary okay. tea. Oh you know what, that's like a really nice tea. I love it. Have you tried bamboo tea? Okay. No? Never in your entire life? Mm, no, I, I wish I could see you guys so I can share a bamboo tea with you. Right now I don't have a piece of tea, so I already drink drunk it all, all of them. <laughs> but maybe I will have it soon because my sister is coming, so she's she always brings like two or sometimes three boxes for me. Maybe one day we're gonna see each other. Okay, we're going to share more information, and now you're ready with a lot of energy here in English class, right, Isa? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's what I like. I love your smile, by the way. Thank you so much. All righty. Um, Isara, oh, you're eating something? I was like... Oh, yes, bro. Ooh, oh my God, don't be so mean. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that's okay. It's valid. Don't worry, guys. If you need to drink water, if you need to drink a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, if you're starving and you have a huge hole in your tummy, that's okay. You can do it, okay? Don't worry. I always say, without gasoline, the car doesn't work. I can drink wine? Yeah, of course. Why not? <laughs> it will be really delicate. Right? <laughs> as long as you're paying attention, Frank, <laughs> that will be enough for me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I will ask him, please do that number four. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All righty, guys. This week we have been talking about problems, right? Do you remember problems, complaints, etc.? Yesterday we did some ex listening activities. It was really hard. But we're doing our best. We're going to improve. Don't worry about it. And we started um, talking about ways to describe problems. I remember that Alex was like, what? And I told him, don't worry, my man. We're going to get deeply information today. So don't worry about it. There was a classmate who asked me for some exercise in the platform that they don't have a clue what they're talking about. Don't worry, we're going to see that today. Okay, guys, when we would like to talk about problems and describing problems, we're going to use the participles. Remember that I told you that? The participles as an adjectives and with nouns. And also when we're going to use the verb keep and need as an ing form. But today, let's focus on the first way to describe problems, using participles as an adjective and with nouns. Hey, by the way, do you remember what is an adjective? Hi, Carlita. Hi, David. 
Mm. Good evening. Good evening. An adjective is this and describe a noun. Exactly describes a noun. Exactly. Exactly. It describes the state, that characteristic, right, etc. Okay. Why I'm asking you that? Because even though participles we are known it as a verbs, but sometimes we can use them as an adjectives to describe basically the status, the characteristic of something. Let me show you what I'm talking about because you are trying to use your imagination, but you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. So don't worry about it. All right. Hey guys, do me a favor. If you feel that I'm speaking faster or if you do not understand an idea, please feel free to raise your physical hand or your virtual hand, and I will be more than glad to recap for you, okay? Don't worry about it. I don't buy that. Well, I'll, unless you ask me to, okay? So don't worry about it. Let me just share right now my screen a little bit. Just give me a couple of minutes. I need to open this really quickly. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Now we have it. So let me go back with you guys. And let me share right now my screen. Oh, I need to select share sound and op optimize the video. Okay. Do me a favor. Let me know. Uh, are you able to see it? Are you able to see it now? Yes. I cannot hear you. Are you able to see it yes, now? Yes. Okay. That's when you come on energy. Very good. Okay, guys. If you take a look on this, we do have two separate sections. We have Describing problems in the first way, we have it participles as adjectives, and we have it with nouns. Okay, in this case, do you see the words that are in bold or black color? Do you see it? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, cool. If you see that, all of them are participles as, as an adjectives. Because what, what is it doing it? It basically is doing it, the function to describing the status of what? Of the noun. Let me just change the color because it will be really important if we can change the color. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. You see, we have the noun here, right? Jacket, tabletop, base, pants, right? Sunglasses etc okay do me a favor um let's see frank do me a favor could you please kindly uh read for me the first sentence the one that says the jacket of course teacher the jack linen is a store okay the jack linen is torn okay very good do me a favor hey do you remember, guys, what is the meaning of torn? Torn is how uh, damaged. Ah, uh, what? Uh, what hole. Happened? Like a hole? Uh huh. Hole. Like a hole, correct. Like crap. Like, remember? Okay. Yes. Exactly. So, and what is the, um, what is the meaning of leaning? Do you know? Or no idea? No idea. No idea. Okay. Leaning is what we call recubrimiento. Do you got it? Recubrimiento? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Cool. So when they said the jacket is torn, Tell me, the jacket is in good or in bad condition? Bad condition. It's in bad condition, exactly. So you see, the participles as an adjective, torn, damaged, ship, etc., is basically describing the status of the subject. In this case, 
the jacket leaning is torn. It is letting me know that the jacket is in bad condition. Do you see how adjectives work? Is it understandable, the first, the first sentence? Yes, teacher. All righty. Thank you, Frank. However, take a look on this one, guys. Take a look on the opposite way. Do me a favor, Frank. Can you please read it for me again? The first sentence, but now with nouns. Yes, teacher. It is, it has a tears in its. Mm -hmm. There's the a possibility? hole. Uh, there's a hole in its. Okay, cool. Tell me. Using participles with nouns or or describing problems with nouns, am I saying the same thing? Yes or no? Yes, on different yes. forms. Yes, exactly. Doesn't matter if I use participle as an adjective or doesn't matter if I use it with nouns, I'm saying exactly the same thing. The difference is the way that I'm saying it. For example, if you take a look at the first sentence, it has a tear on it. Okay, for example, in this part, in it, what is referring to? What am I talking about? Where is the tear? In what? In a car? In a jacket? In a blouse? In the jacket. In the jacket, in the jacket. exactly. Because we already know that we are talking about the jacket, right? In this case, the jacket is not necessary to put the jacket again. We can substitute, if you can see it, by the pronoun, right? By the pronoun it. And if you see the part in the bold sentence, let me just change the color over here. We have the noun, a tear, a tear. That means a hole, right? Do you see that? Do you see it? Yes. Okay. But however, guys, when we're talking about nouns, we also have another possibility to so say there's a hole in it. So when we're talking about describing problems with noun, we have two options. We can use it, it has a tear in it, or we can also say there's a hole in it. Let me just explain to you a little bit about the grammar part. But do me a favor, be before I go deeply into it, can you identify, guys, can we identify together the structure or the formula uh, with past participle as an adjective? How we construct the ideas? Have you, have you noticed that? Anybody? Thank you for participating. I know everybody wants to participate, but I need only one volunteer. That will be enough. David. Mr. David. Mr. David. Hello, Houston, do we have a problem here? Hello? Maybe David is not here, right? Okay, let me pick somebody else. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Frank, no, Frank already participated. Teacher, come on, click another one. Okay, <laughs> Carlita, well, help me with this, please. Subject, structure, way, past, participles. Uh -huh. Subject plus B plus past participle as adjective. All righty, very good. Okay, guys, 
So let's go back to the examples that we are talking about. Let me go back to the sample really quickly. All righty. Take a look at this first section, please. Take a look at the past participles with adjectives. Do you see here the jacket leading is torn? You see, we have the subject here. What is the subject in this, in this phrase? The jacket leaning is torn. What is the subject, guys? Yes, the, jacket. the jacket, very good. Okay, leaning. And do you see that we have the bird to be here? Yes, yes. Yes, exactly. And then we have the participle as an adjective. So that's the way it is. Subject plus be plus adjective. Do me a favor. Can we read together the second line, guys? Who can help me read the second me. one? Me. Okay, go ahead. The tabletop is damaged. The tabletop is damaged. Okay, the third one, please. The base is shipped. The base is shipped. It. Very good. The fourth one, please. My pants are no. stained. The pants are stained. And the last but not least. The next. Mm -hmm. her, her glasses are a little scratched. The, her glasses are a little scratched. Very good. Excellent. Now, guys, thank you so much. If we're talking about nines, have you figured it out what is exactly um the way that we construct the sentence? We have subject, which in this case, it. We have has, you see? Has or have, guys. It could be either or, depending what we are talking about. Because do you see? We have this one, right? They have a stain on it. Then we have the noun. And then the complement. But there's another way. You can also said. There is or there are, depends, plus noun, a hold, right? A few scratches. Guys, how do I convert it into a noun? Do you see that there is a, like um preposition before the word tear, before the word chip, before the word stain? Do you see it? Or no? Yes. 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 What is the the little letter that comes before tear, stain, and ship? A. A, exactly. A tear. That means uno o una. Remember in Spanish? Yeah. A tear. A ship. A stain. It, it is A, but it could be N. Depends, right? Why is A? Because the noun, remember, it starts with a consonant. Tear it starts with T. Ship it starts with C. Stain it starts with S. But if I have, for example, a noun that it starts with a vowel, is it still going to be A or is it going to be N? And, and, and correct. He changed. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And in this case, the word damage, we can also use some as well. Alrighty, guys, do me a favor. Let's practice the pronunciation, everybody, or some words. Are you agree? Oh, yes. Yes, teacher. We are agree. Um, are you agree with me? I think everybody needs some Coke. Or no? Uh-huh. No. Why is everybody like... <sighs> are you agree with me? Would you like to practice a pronunciation? Yes or no? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, okay, finally. Yes, teacher. I was expecting any answer, but nobody answers. All righty. Okay, hi, Nubi. All righty. And everybody like, hi, 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 hi. Hi, Saulito. I, uh -huh. I got my eyes on you. I got my eyes on you. I'm just kidding. All righty. Let's practice some pronunciation because I really need it that you practice your pronunciation. Okay. Let's join this one really quickly. There you go. Okay, repeat after me, guys. It has a tear in it. It has a tear in it. I don't hear you. It has a tear in it. It has a tear in it. There's a. There's a. There's a. There's a hole in it. Hole in it. Hole in it. Hole in it. There's a hole in it. Hole in it. Hole in it. Hole in it. Good. Okay, now this one. They have a. They have. They have, have a stain on them. They have. Stain on them. 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 Very good. Why we do that, guys? We are joining. We are joining right now the the words so we can basically try to be more fluent when we speak. There's a, there's a, there's a, it's really important. And guys, do me a there favor. A. I know that sometimes when you see apostrophe S, you know that there is is, right? Because it's that contraction way of is. Yes. But when you see apostrophe S, please don't say there is a hole on it. Say there's a. There's a, I want you to pronounce it using apostrophes. I know that you know that apostrophe is, is a construction word of is, but it is a contraction way. So try to pronounce it at the way that you see it, contracted. I don't want you to pronounce there is a hole on it when it shows there's a hole on it. You got it? Yeah. If you see apostrophe yes, if you, if you see apostrophe R E, pronounce it like the way that you see it. Got it? Yep. Awesome. All yeah. right, guys, do me a favor. Let's practice um exercise together. Okay. Let me go back right now. We're going to do it writing activities. Alex, I I can see your face like. Ah, teacher, I'm going to take some hair from my head. All righty. Is it understandable? Do you have any doubts or questions right now so far? Are you sure? No. I'm sure. Okay. Like horchata or like crystal water? Like <laughs> crystal water. 50-50. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay no i'm just saying don't worry about it you feel free to ask me let's practice let's make some practices so you will be having like an idea what am i talking about okay let's practice this together guys let me show right now my screen let's do some practice some speaking activity you see it yeah Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. We have how many sentences we have here? Six, right? Six, right. Okay, cool. All righty. If you see, guys, these sentences or questions are, for example, in one way. It could be using participles as an adjective or it could be using nouns. What I would like you to do or to help me is to basically say exactly the same thing or describing exactly the same example, but in a different way. For example, let's do the first one together. This tablecloth isn't very clean. It is. 
It what? It is stained. It is stained. It is stained. 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 Very good. Awesome. What about number two? Could we have another water pitcher? This one? Is is leaking. Is leaking. Leaking. Very good. Awesome. Number three. The table looks pretty dirty. The wood. It's crushed. It's it's crushed. It's crushed. Very good. Awesome. Number four. The waiter or the waiter needs a new shirt. The one he's wearing is chipped. The one he's wearing. Wearing. Oh, it's 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 storm. 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 Very good. Or how you're going to say using nouns? Is storm or? It has a hole. It has a hole. It has a hole in it. Very good. Excellent. Number five. Could you bring me another cup of coffee? The cup is chipped. 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 Very good. And last but not least, the walls really need paint. And the ceiling is damaged. Is damaged. Damage. Okay. Very good. Oh my God, you see? I'm so proud of you. You are amazing. Or oh, am I a good teacher? Or are you a marvelous student? I can say that you're a marvelous student for sure. Definitely. As a teacher. As a teacher. 50-50. 50-50. 50-50. Let's leave it like that way. <laughs> Credits for everybody. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Now, let's practice. Okay, for right now, before I move on, the first way to describe problems using parcel as adjectives and with nouns. Is it clear? Right now? So far, is it good? Yes. Easy peasy queasy? Yes. Piece of cake? It's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Let's move forward. Let's practice listening right now. Let me ask you something. Have you ever bought any kind of thing like makeup, um, bookcase, briefcase, pants, jackets, whatever? that when you receive it, it was not exactly what you expected for, and you have to return it? Have you returned a product that you bought? Yeah? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, so basically you're going to have, uh, you're going to be really familiar with what we're gonna listen. Actually guys, as of right now, we're going to listen basically um, a person's. A person that basically have bought some articles and what they're going to do, they received something that it was not what they wanted it, and they would like to make an exchange. So please, guys, we're going to listen three customers returning an item they purchased. Do me a favor. I'm going to give you what I would like you to focus on. In this listening activity, guys, we're going to focus on a specific details, okay? A specific details. Sometimes I don't want you to pay attention to the whole conversation. No, I want you to focus on details. And what are the details that I would like you to focus? Please bring a piece of paper, a notebook, a word pad, whatever you have handy. Because I think you're going to write down. What I would like you to focus on are these things. First, the item that they're returning. Second of all, the problem. What's the problem with the item? I mean, the reason why they're returning it. And if the store where they purchase it will make an exchange or not. Would you like me to repeat it? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. cool. First, 
in the listening activity identified the item that they're returning. The problem. I mean, Audio. the reason Audio. why they're returning, right? Item. Item that is returning. Problem of the uh, with the item. And if the store is is changing it or not. Got it? Yeah? Clear like what up? Clear like horchata. Like horchata. Frank, come on. Clear a little bit a lot. Okay, so now you got what, what you're going to basically got the information that I need. Item, problem, and if they exchange it or not. That's it. That's all that I need. Ready? Yes, ready. Yes. Uh, I don't believe you. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. All right. That's the spirit that I need. Come on, energy. We're almost finished. Only 20 minutes. All right. So let's focus. Let's focus on that. All righty. Let's listen. Page 38, exercise four, listening. Fair exchange? Part A. Listen to three customers return an item they purchased. What's the problem? Take notes, then complete the chart. One. Can I help you? Yes, I bought this briefcase here last week, but there's something wrong with the lock. I can't get it to close properly. Let me see. Yes, I see what you mean. The lock seems to be jammed or something. No problem. I'll get you another one. Sorry about that. Okay, guys. What is the item that the customer would like to exchange? The briefcase. The briefcase. Okay, what's the problem with it? It's broken. Aha, uh -huh. what is broken? You got it? What is broken? The briefcase is locked. The briefcase itself or a part of briefcase is broken? Let me just play it one more time. Please catch <laughs> that part. D. Yes, I see what you mean. The lock seems to be jammed or something. Okay, what is broken? You got it? No, yet. No? <laughs> what is broken, guys, is the lock. Oh. The lock. The one that you use, right, to put your code and nobody will be able to open it. So the lock is broken. Let me ask you, uh, does the store exchange it or no? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Very good. Let's continue with the second one. No problem. I'll get you another one. Sorry about that. Two. Excuse me. Yes? I wonder if you could take a look at these shoes I bought here. They're pretty new, but they seem to be falling apart. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this doesn't look right. The stitching is coming out. How long did you say you've had them? Only about a month. Here's the receipt. Hmm, yes. Well, let me exchange these for you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, now what is the item? Shoes. The shoes. What happened with the shoes? What's the problem? They're falling apart. Yeah, they're falling apart. The stitching, right? Did, did the, the storage change it or not? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Let's continue. Three. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? You see this shirt? I bought it here a few weeks ago, but the first time I washed it, the color changed. 
It went from bright red to light pink. How did you wash it? Well, I just tossed it into the washing machine with my other clothes. What temperature did you use? I usually wash my clothes in hot water, so I guess hot. Well, did you check the washing instructions? Um, maybe not. Well, you see here on this label, it says wash in cold water only. Uh-huh. So I'm really sorry, but since you didn't follow the washing instructions, I can't really do anything for you. Okay, so what happened with this last situation? He bought a shirt, but uh -huh. when he put it in the, in the washing machine, changed uh -huh. color. Okay, from what? which color to which color? It was red, and it changed. I, I heard pink. Right? Uh-huh, exactly. So, but why? What happened? Because he washed uh, a lot of kind of clothes. And uh -huh. He washed in hot water. He, he hot water. water. Uh huh. Did he follow the washing instructions? No, no he didn't. No. no, he was supposed to wash the shirt with which water temperature? Cool. Cold, Cold water. water. Yeah. Exactly. Cold water. So let me ask you, did the store exchange it or no? No. 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 Why? I can read the instructions of the because label. Exactly. The instructions. Because the customer did not follow the instructions. Exactly. Oof. Oh my God. Awesome. Very good job. All righty. Much better, right? Good job, guys. Good job. Excellent. The first one was really hard, right? About yes. the, right. the briefcase lock. In, mm -hmm. in fact, I, I, I understand only the last one. <laughs> the the first know. and the second one, it's uh, a little bit hard to me. <laughs> I know, but don't was, worry. That's yeah, why we're doing this kind of exercises. So for you to get used to your ear, your listening. This is one of the hardest part when you are learning a foreign language, but we're going to do a lot of listening activities. And now we have practiced, for example, to listen and to get detailed information. Because sometimes you notice that sometimes when you're listening something, or for example, when you're listening to a customer, sometimes they are talking and they give you like a whole story, right? Like a whole situation, a whole scenario, the whole soap opera. But everything that they said, sometimes you don't need all the information. You're just looking for a specific information. So we need to learn from the whole situation to get or is abstract the information that will be helpful for us to do our job. So that's why it's really important to basically do this kind of activities because you're, you're going to, your brain is going to focus on get what you need. You see? Okay, yes. That was yes. really important. And why I ask you to write it down, even though it could be an old fashioned way, because we need to also learn how to start being multitasking. At the same time that you're listening, you have to write. So you have to focus on two things at the same time. And that's why it's really important to do this kind of activities. Because it is easy just to listen. Or it's easy just to write. But it will be a little bit more complicated if you got to do two things at the same time. Listening and writing. Maybe you don't get the whole information at the first time. Of course, it's valid. We're practicing. But the more we practice, you're going to improve your skills. Don't you think? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. All righty. So let's continue with it. Huh. Today, I'm killing you, my friends. I told you, let the blood start. Sorry for that. <laughs> But I'm doing the best that I can not to kill you the first time. All righty. Guys, so basically, this is the first way that we have uh, basically seen 
how to describe a problem. But as I was mentioned to you before, we also have another way to describe problems. And basically it is using two, um, we can say verbs that are really, really, really important for us. Like need and keep. Tell me, what is the meaning of need, by the way? Necesitar. Uh -huh. And keep? Mantener. Mantener. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So let me just share right now my screen one more time. And let's go back to the second way that we can use how to describe problem. This way, guys, is a little bit easier than the first one. You'll see. Okay, there's two ways. The second way is need. With need, guys, we have two ways to describe problems. We have it, the word need plus gerund, and we have the word need plus passive infinitive. We can say the oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. The other way, if we're going to use passive infinitive, Take a look on this. Remember, the infinitive is constructed with the verb be plus the past tense of the verbs or the passive way. So if you, you're going to use that, you're going to use to be plus the past tense. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. Clear? Like water or like horchata? Repeat, please. <laughs> okay, very good. So, okay, so when you're talking about describing problems, you gotta do, you gotta use two verbs, need and keep. With need, you have two ways to use it. Need plus gerund, which is definitely, this is ing form, right? You know that for sure. And need plus past infinitive. How we construct infinitives to be plus past tense of the verbs. In this case, we have ed, we have ed, because the verbs adjust and fix are regular or irregular, guys? Regular. 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 Exactly. So we just put ed at the end. Is it clear, this one? Yes. yes. All right. Yes. And then we have keep with gerund. Keeps burning. Keeps going off. Hey, guys, this is going off because with that, we have double F. Do me a favor. If you see, guys, we are talking about in third person singular. You see? The oven. We're talking about it. The unarmed. It. So do me a favor. Do you see the S at the end of need and the s at the end of keep do you see yes. it yes I see. okay it. so when you see it please pronounce it don't eat it because you remember do you remember right in present tense that when we are talking about third person like he she eat we always put S or ES, right? Depends on the verb that we're using. At the end, right? Because it is followed the instruction or the grammar instruction that we are talking about third person. So you got to pronounce the S. But sometimes we ended up eating it. So you said, keeps. Like, S. Remember that when you have like a tie of a card that is losing hair. S. So you got to pronounce it like that way. Re repeat after me. Kips. 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 Okay, let's practice this. This time, do it. Look at my mouth and look at my group of teeth. I have it like this. Like a smiling fish. Right? Okay, so try to, with the teeth together, 
try to put out an, an air like this. Try to do this. Like a got a smile. And then use it with the word need or keep. Keep. Need. Try to do it. Keeps. 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 Needs. I don't I don't listen to you. Needs. Keeps. 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 Very good. Thanks God I'm not in front of you. I I will feel like Sylvester. I will use my umbrella right now. <laughs> okay, awesome. Very good. I know we're going to practice, right? I'm going to send you a like um what the what does it mean in Spanish? Uh, 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 tongue twister. I will send you a tongue twister basically for S pronunciation, okay? It's gonna be an easy peasy quizy, but you will be able to practice. Hey, the second hunger, guys. And oh, another audio with the tongue twister that I'm going to send it to you. I want you to send me an audio pronunciated the tongue twister that I will send you, okay? So you have two audio homeworks, by the way. Hi, teacher. Yes. I know that you love me and I love you as well. <laughs> okay, so let's practice together the second way to describe your problems. Okay, let, let me go back and let's do this homework together. All right. All right, guys, we have eight sentences, right? Take a look, please, at this picture that I have next to it. Teacher, where have you done? Don't worry about it. The teacher sometimes is not good with technology. So thank you so much for being patient. Okay, take a look at this. Can you see the walls? The walls, yes. The, the walls, okay. What do you think? Do they need paint? Yes. Okay, need so it. how can you say that? How can you describe the problem using need? What well, is them? No, using, yeah. using need. Let's oh, use need. need with Jaron right now. Oh, the walls? The walls need painting. Need painting. Very good. Painting. Okay, what about the rug? The rug is this one, guys. Alfombra, the rug. Mm -hmm. The rug is cleaning. Need the rug cleaning. needs cleaning. It's Very cleaning. good. What about number three? Take a look at the windows. What do you think? The, wa the window the needs... window needs washing. washing. Mm -hmm. The windows needs washing. What about the clothes? You see? They're in a good condition, by the way. Clothes needs pick up. Needs picking needs, up. Needs picking up, up or up. needs to be pick up. What do you think? Needs with Jaron or needs with passive? Infinitive. What would be a better up. way to say it? To the clothes be. needs picking up or the clothes needs to be picked up? Needs to be picked up. Yeah, much better the second way. Good. You can say the first way, of course, but it's much better with the second way. What about number five? The lamp. The lamp shade. The lamp shade. Needs to be replaced. Needs, needs replaced. replacing. Yeah. Or needs to be replaced. Excellent job. What about number six? The waste basket. This one. The waste basket needs to, needs be, empty. to be empty. It needs to be empty. Awesome. What about the ceiling? How does it look? To be the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan. Is it good? No, the ceiling fan needs to be adjusted. Needs to be adjusted. Awesome. And last change. but not least, the number eight, the plant. 
The plant needs needs water. The plant needs to be water. What did you like to live? By the way, <laughs> would you like to live in that condition? Not this year, right? <laughs> Not at all, right? Can you imagine you forgot to put water on a plant? Come on. <laughs> Goodness. Oh my God. That is a perfect example of a disaster um apartment. Okay. Okay, guys. All righty. We're almost finished. Don't worry. And last but not least, do me a favor. Mm, Isaura, take a look at your um at the place where you are right now. I don't know if you're in a in a living room or in a dining room, or think about a problem that you have in your house. What do you think that something needs to be improved? Take a look at the ceiling, uh, take a look at the lamps, at the windows. Do you think that there's something needs to be improved or to fix? Mm. Maybe the lamp. The lamp? Thing. The lamp what? Needs? The lamp to be replaced. Needs to be replaced. Very good. All righty. Now, do me a favor. Frank, take a look at your entire uh, area where you are right now. Is there something that needs to be improved? Yeah, the doors needs changing. Needs to be changed. Yeah. Okay. I you see, guys, he needs a window door, by the way, or a glass door. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, Alex, what about you? Is there something that needs to be fixed or replaced at home? Yes, teacher. The ceiling needs to be changed. Needs to be changed. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the entire ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. We need to save some money, right? Because it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. But when when needs to change, needs to change. I know that. What about Isa? What about you? Is there something that needs to change at home? Uh the door uh, needs replacing. Needs to be replaced. To okay. be replaced. One is replacing. Very good. Carlita, what about you? <laughs> The walls needs to be painted. <laughs> the walls needs to be painted. Okay. And my last question. Let's see. Natalie, are you with me? Hopefully, Natalie is with me or is not having a cup of coffee right now. I think Natalie went out and have a cup of coffee. Let's see. Ruthie, are you with me? Yes, teacher. Okay, if there's something that needs to be fixed at home, uh, repeat me, please. Do you do you need to fix something at home? Uh, yeah, my bathroom. Um, right now I'm working in remodelation. Ah, remodelation. Yes. What for the entire house? Um. Um. Sorry. For the whole house, for the entire house. Uh, in my in my house. In your house, what yes. are they remote remodeling? They're remodeling uh, everything. The walls. The walls. The walls. Yes. The, the walls. Oh my goodness, um, that's nice. She will have a brand new house. You <laughs> then I working um about um in remodelation. Oh my goodness. Uh, acabado de interiores. No sé cómo se dice. Ah, uh, you need to figure it out and you're going to let me know tomorrow. <laughs> I need your why. <laughs> you know what? I can give it to you, the answer, but it will be much better when you search it. You will never forget it. <laughs> Thank you, Ruthie. Okay, guys. You know what? I'm sorry. I know you love me and I love you too, but it's got to say goodbye, my friends. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hugs Thank and kisses. You. Have an amazing night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, Carlita, what happened? What happened? What happened? In the platform, um, in the first part, mm -hmm. I have error, but I use the the word, the sentences as the examples, but only the first is okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have the, the same problem. No I have uh, the same problem. Do me a favor. 
try to search something. Try to see if you use period, if you do not use period, if you use many spaces. Or for example, if you forgot the um, capital letter or lowercase, because sometimes that happens. No? I, I will Not send you a uh, capture in the WhatsApp. Ah, what in the WhatsApp. OK. And you still. OK. Uh, do me a favor. Try to do it one more time with the, with the information that I gave you right now. And if you still give you a problem, I'm going to figure out what happened, okay? So we can go give you a hand. Don't worry about it. Try to do your best. I'm going to send you the information on how it's supposed to be so we can compare. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Good night. And Jesus. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night.